Our earth bounds with rolling grasslands and lush green forests, which house millions of plant species. However, this was always not the case. When earth formed around 4.54 billion years ago, it was a super hard burning ball of fire. As this huge mass began to rotate on its axis and cool down, life emerged in its vast water bodies. Single-celled, water-dwelling, algae gave way to tiny plants like mosses, which helped in colonizing the land. Armed with extreme desiccation and temperature tolerance, regeneration capacity enabled them to adapt to hostile environment. They can indeed be called ultimate survivors. Moss is a beautiful modern organism. The reason I say it's beautiful because it gives us many opportunities to investigate many of the questions. We, are, we have understanding with respect to the, the land plants that we see, but we don't have understanding that how epical cell innovation took place in terms of million years. Look at those unicellular plants, look at those plants which have no vascular bundles, we have no vascular uh, traits on them. There are in fact uh, not many labs in India working on this model organism which I think uh, people should work because of, uh, because of our interest in understanding evolutionary questions. When plants started shifting from water to a land terrestrial habitat, they had to undergo several changes and adaptations. Like you can see them growing on, under a shade, on a tree, even on rooftops if there is a lot of rain. What we study in the lab is a model moss, which is Fiscometrilla patens, and we are trying to unearth these uh, molecular mechanisms behind the, these kind of adaptations. So in our lab, we developed a genetic tool which would enable us to uh, randomly block the expression of certain genes and understand uh, the role of these genes in uh, by studying the plants which were impaired on certain functions. To our uh, shock and surprise obviously, we figured out a plant which had extremely short leaves and after detailed, uh, after detailed analysis of this plant, we saw that the number of these small structures called plasmodesmata in this plant was greatly reduced. Consider a room with many doors. People inside that room can move out easily However, if there is only one single door, movement would be a problem. Now imagine a cell. If the number of cell pores get reduced, there will be a problem in the movement of the substances. We want to know what is the gene that is responsible to this phenotype. After whole genome sequencing of this mutant, we came across the causal gene which is responsible for this phenotype. This is a very unique gene which is only present in these particular organisms, those organisms that colonize land for the first time. And surprisingly, these are being lost in the plant that is coming later. We currently trying to understand how this gene is giving or influencing plasmodesmata matter number which in turn influence the entire water content of a plant, which was a major problem when algae try to invade land, the water was a major challenge and this was the key gene that could be an answer how uh, algae colonize the land.